You gotta have faith, the faith, the faith. You gotta have faith, the faith, the faith. Faith and hope are very intertwined. I mentioned how you cannot give up hope. Hope for a resolution, a solution, progress, happiness. Hope is the thing that gets you waking up in the morning, getting through the days, good and bad. Hope that a better day will come. Hope that life can be good to you. Hope that life is not the enemy, life is working for you. But hope cannot exist without faith. And you don't have to believe in God. You don't have to abide by a certain religion to have faith. Faith is the belief that fuels hope. Faith allows for hope. Faith is something you can build and instill in yourself with, like all things, <laughs> a change of mindset, mood, and mental state. Uh, effort and consistency. That without any proof, standing before you, standing within you, standing in your history, as far as you can perceive and understand it in this particular moment in your growth and your juncture in life, without any evidence that things are going to work out for you. In life, in love, in spirituality, in financial circumstances, in your health, in your healing, in your recovery, in your coping, in your friendships, um, in whatever it is, whatever mountain you are trying to climb whatever difficulty and suffering you are trying to work your way through at any given moment in life because they come. They're as sure in life as birth, death, and taxes. Faith will fuel you to continue to work toward the positive end that you are seeking. Continue to focus your actions, behaviors, mentalities, mindsets, reactions, belief system, perspective, habits, activities, and, and the rest toward the outcome you wish to achieve even if you cannot see it, especially when you cannot see it, even if you've never seen it in your entire life. Faith is this internal kernel of belief that someday, someday, <laughs> someday it will come to pass. You will get there. You will overcome this grief. You will see the other side of depression. You will heal your addictions. You will remove toxic relationships. You'll be a solid, stable version of yourself. You will mend lost relationships. You'll feel connected socially. You will love yourself. You'll lead a balanced, and wholesome, happy, fulfilling life. The best version of the life that you can conceive of and manage that is the right fit for you. 
even if you have never known it up till this point, it is an inner knowing that you have to foster. Like fanning a flame. You have to foster that inner knowing that you'll get there because you will be in a lot of dark patches with no reference point historically to base there to be any fact <laughs> that it will come out this way to your betterment, to your wholeness, to the fruition of you, to a good end. You may have no historical reference point for this, for healthy relationships, for happiness, for life outside of depression or addiction or chaos. You may not know what healthy is. And yet, you know somehow within you, you have a belief that you cling to and you protect from the derision and minimization and tearing down of other people of your belief that you can achieve that end. Even your own internal tearing down of that belief. Instead, you have to f foster that flame of faith that this will work out eventually. Consistency, discipline, patience, that it will work out for you. When you're in the space where you cannot see anything other other than you've known previously. You don't know which way to go next. You see no way out of a situation. You feel trapped and claustrophobic and stuck in a rut. You don't know which way to make the next move. You're, you're at a fork in the road and you don't know which way to go. Um, and you're surrounded in the dark. Faith will carry you through and keep you pointed in the right direction. Faith will open the door to maintain hope, even when hope seems hopeless because inside you there is that inner knowing. You may not know how, you may not know when. But you trust that it's going to work out for you. What you seek, you shall find. Foster faith. Cling to faith. Protect your faith from yourself and others from being torn down. So that even when you, you're lost and confused and you don't see a way out, you will know inherently as much as you know that we need oxygen to breathe, to live, that it will eventually work out for you if you just keep going. Now faith is confidence. You know. It's not a probable, it's not a maybe, it's an inner knowing. Now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. It is the inner knowing. Despite all evidence, presently, historically, that surrounds you. In here. You know 
unshakably know. Though you have no evidence to show at this juncture, that inevitably, eventually, it will be good for you in your life. Like I said, you don't have to believe in God or a higher power, a power greater than yourself. That works really well if you're in an addiction or recovery program like AA. Uh, spirituality in general is helpful, whether that be um, your connectedness to others, service to an organization, contribution to a cause, believing in something larger than oneself can help fuel you and get you up in the morning. But the faith I'm referring to is a self-belief and an assurance and an inner knowing that regardless of what you're facing now or have faced in the past, you will come out the other side stronger, better, more solid, more happy, more fulfilled, more content, closer to where you would like to be, closer to a more true, genuine, full expression, a healthy, happy, fulfilled you, without any evidence that it's possible. because that will keep you going one baby step at a time in the right direction. Good morning. Goodbye. Faith, the faith, the faith. Gotta have faith, the faith, the faith. Ooh. Yeah. Did I mention I'm a little weird? I'm sure you picked that up already if you've been watching. Peace. Bye, everybody.